guys, Matt the Riffmaster here. So today's video was inspired by Max Nowaz. In the comments he asked if we could do a little window shopping online for some gear on a guitar store. And I thought that would be great fun because I love searching for guitars, searching for gear. It's painful sometimes because you see things and you don't have the money and you wish you could get it. We've all had this problem. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to do this video two different ways. Today's video, we're just going to go all out and we've got unlimited money to buy. So guys, you're allowed to get one guitar, one amplifier, some pedals of your choice to make up your kind of sound, your setup kind of thing. For me, it's going to be guitar and an amp because as you know, I'm a simple person. It's just my guitar and amp. That's all I use, no pedals. But it may sound simple, but it's not. Because we all know that when we see one guitar that we want, we always come across another one and another one and another one and then we end up wanting to buy all of them and we can't because we don't have the money so I thought this could be fun guys we're gonna have some fun we're gonna go shopping and it'll be interesting to see what we choose so guys I am going on guitar guitar uk because this is a website that I use a lot I buy a lot of gear from these people they're awesome they've always got a lot of stuff uh, so we're just going to go shopping, so I'm going to start off with guitars. Okay, so they've got, uh, so I, I guess I should maybe think of a, a brand. Now there's a couple of guitars that I would really love, that I really just can't afford, nor will I probably, oh wow. The Kirk Hammett Demonology Signature Model, I like that. Um, okay, so yeah, there's a few companies that make guitars that I love, but they're so expensive, it's unreal. Uh, so firstly, I'm going to check out some beautiful Gibsons. Gibson or Gibson Custom Shop? Let's go Gibson Custom Shop. Okay. Oh, look at these prices. Five, nearly five grand. Damn it. Okay. Um, I'll tell you one guitar I have always, always, always wanted. It's such a 60, 68, yeah, a 68 uh, Gibson Cust Les Paul Custom. I don't know why, there's just something extremely monstrous about these guitars that I just absolutely love. They just look awesome. I mean, this one, oh, look at it. And that's what, that's £5,499. Damn! Okay, so that one is a possibility straight away. I really, really like this. So I'm going to add this to my car and save it there so we can come back to it if we want to keep it or if we want to get rid of it. So now we need to continue shopping. Uh, let's look at some more Gibsons. Uh, where are they? Gibson. Already, man, I'm like, I'm stressing. I, I don't know what to get. I love guitars. Uh, let's have a look. Um, nope. That's a funky colour. Wouldn't play it myself, but it's a pretty nice colour. Let's have a look. Look at that. That is a really, really nice finish, but I don't think it would suit me. No. It may suit somebody, but definitely not me. Right, no. Um, okay, let's go. Next page. Oh, what about a double neck? I've never played a double neck. If any of you have played a double neck guitar before, let me know. I've always wanted to. Could be fun. Okay. Not seeing anything on this. Pe oh, yeah. Look at that. Gibson Les Paul Stand, a 2016 high performance translucent black. Now, that is what I call a beautiful guitar. Really, really, really like that. That's. Ooh. Guys, there's just so many to choose from. Okay, right, let's just go a couple more pages. And then I'm going to go on to my second company of choice for really expensive guitars. Wow, that's... Oh, it's got Floyd Rose. Damn it, look at that. Les Paul Custom with a Floyd Rose. Now, you guys know I'm not a Floyd Rose person. I do not like Floyd Roses. They just... Then for some people it's fine, but for me, like I just I've never got on with them. I just can't do it. So that one, although I like the the white, the Les Paul, but the Floyd Rose just lets it down massively. 
Right, what else we got? Now, I do like a Les Paul with a nice flame top. Like, a really, really nice flame top. So maybe we should go back to the custom shop ones. Because I've got a feeling, obviously, there's going to be some real tasty stuff there. So let's have a look through the custom shops. If there's anything that tickles my pickle. Oh, that looks nice. <clears throat> let's have a look at this one. Gibson Custom Shop, Les Paul, 1959, Collector's Choice, 45, Danger Burst. I like that, Danger Burst. That's, I like the finish on that, a bit beat up, which I like. I mean, some people like that, some people don't like that. I personally like to have all the scuffs and the scratches and the wear and tear on the guitars made by me. Uh, so I'm not a fan of buying it that way. Sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't look so good oh, look at that that is pretty you cannot deny that that is not pretty Whoa. Oh, oh there's more pictures let's have a look at more pictures of it oh it's got the easy access heel joint I think yeah they're pretty good to get up top for those bends and shit Ah, oh, look at that finish. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's... Okay. Uh, this is not... I like these white Les Paul Customs. I think they look really nice. But I'm looking for maybe like a flame, something with a nice flame top. this one Ooh. Gibson Custom Shop hand-picked standard historic 1959 Les Paul reissue Wow I like this this looks nice I like the flame top on that <laughs> oh. does that not just make you smile does that not just give a twitch in your underpants? Oh, that, that... I felt... <laughs> my breath has been taken away by this guitar. Look at that. That is beautiful. Damn it. Oh, I think... I th oh. Whoa. Hi, can I assist you with anything? Let's talk to Gary, shall we? Hi, Gary. No. I'm fine right now, just filming a video for YouTube, doing some gear, gear shopping. Say hi to my, f my amazing YouTube family, the Riv Master family. Let's see if he says hi. So let's get back to the shopping and we'll wait for Gary to reply. Guys, I think this one is, um, this is going in the bag. Because this is just beautiful. The one that did it for me though is that. I mean, if that just doesn't make you want to touch yourself, then I fucking know. That's, that's £4,699. Okay, let's add that to the cart. Okay, so there's one more company I'm going to look at that makes some real beautiful guitars that I've all, I've always wanted one of these uh, guitars, if I can find it, here we are, PRS. Now, PRS make some very beautiful guitars. Not typically the guitar you think that I would play, but I've, there's just, I've just got something about PRS guitars that just really, really, really excite me. So we're gonna, go, we're gonna check some out. Let's have a look. I really like the Mark Tremonti Charcoal Burst um, PRSs. I think they look really nice. Oh, look at this one. Oh, isn't that just beautiful, guys? Ah, oh, satin finish on the back. Ah, oh, why does it, when they put it with the in the cases, it just looks so much. I've just got a text. I've just got a text. I'm shopping. Go away. 
Does it like every time they put a picture of the guitar in the case, it just looks so nice. And I love the cases as well when you get the fluffy interior. Oh, it's got a bound neck. Oh, oh god. Gary! No problem, give me a shout if you need a hand. Will do, Gary! We have to give Gary a shout if we need any help. I guess he didn't want to say hi. Anyway, so that's really nice. I like that. I like the bound neck. Gary. I'm trying to work here, Gary. Jesus. So yeah, I like the bound neck on that one we just looked at. I mean, that was nice. Oh, let's have a look. Guys, my camera just died. I'm sorry. Anyway, where were we? PRS, that's where we are. We're in the land of PRS. You see, I like the double cutaway PRSs, but I think I prefer the single cutaway. I don't know why. I've never played one. Well, I've played PRS before. I don't know. I've never played a double cutaway PRS. I've played a single cutaway. Uh, I like these ones with the kind of the offset kind of look. I think these look really nice. Yeah, that's nice. It looks like it's got like an open grain kind of, yeah. Don't like the scratch plate. It's a bit of a weird color for me. So we're gonna skip that one. Got no, let's go next. This, I mean, this is beautiful. I'm gonna stick this in my sack. <laughs> in my, <laughs> I, I like this guys. This is, I, this is beautiful. Like the bound neck, the, the finish, the, 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 just the, the case as well. Looks good. Okay, damn. Right, we're adding this to the car. So we've got three guitar. Three guitars to be the possible one of choice. We've got the Gibson Custom Shop 1968 Les Paul, the reissue. Uh, we've got the Gibson Custom Shop Handpick Standard Historic 1959 Les Paul reissue. And we've got the PRS Wood Library McCarty Trim Satin Chuckle Burst. So they're the three. So now the sleeve loads there and I can mull it over. Now let's look at amps. Now, amplifiers, there's one amp that I do really want to buy right this very second that I want and you guys know I have a massive love for Blackstar I love Blackstar I love Blackstar a lot Blackstar I love you Blackstar if you're watching this I love you yes I love you okay so uh, the series one the series one is what I've, I want this amp it sounds great I've got a friend who has one it sounds badass I mean, like, I would never replace the HT Metal for my main sound. Uh, I, would, I would still use it, but the Series 1, the 606 head is the one I'd go for because I love 606s. They're just guaranteed to kick anybody in the nutsack. Uh, oh, I mean, look at that. That's just, oh, it's just mean looking at. One thing I like about the Series 1 is that you can see through the front grille, the valve, so when they light up, it looks pretty. And it's just black and it's just evil, metal looking. Uh, so I think, guys, for amps, I'm going to choose this because, like, it's an easy one for me. Series 1. If I could buy an amp right now, it would be the Series 1, 100% for sure. But maybe let's have another look at some others. I mean, like, Mesa Boogie, I've been a fan of. I've wanted a Mesa Boogie a long time. But since I played Black Star, it's kind of like I'm so satisfied with the sound of Black Star. But there is one Mesa Boogie head amp that I have always kind of really loved the sound of. And let's see if they do it. I don't think they do, unless I'm like the blindest person on the planet. Here it is. Uh, uh the Mark V. Now the Mark V for me, like it's just like a dirty sound. Uh, the reviews and the videos I've seen of it online, it just sounds filthy. So if I, I do like these. Damn. No, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with with the the series one because 
It's Blackstar, man. Blackstar makes up a, a huge part of my tone and my happiness in life. So uh, I'm going to stick with Blackstar. So my amp choice, if I had the money right now, is the Blackstar Series 1 104 6L6 head. Now you've got to choose between these guitars. Damn! Ugh. Now this is why this isn't easy. I mean, yeah, I, I've chosen those pretty quick. But, okay, I was dead sure on the amp. That's a given. But these three guitars are so beautiful, I want them all. But I'm only allowed to have one. I can only have one of those. And I don't know which one to have. Oh, my God. Guys, and, uh, what do I do? I mean, the PRS. Like, this just, like, looks so amazing. It's probably not a guitar I would use as a main guitar, but it's a guitar that I would love to just sit and noodle on and play for some of those real nice ballady kind of lead stuff. Oh, it's so pretty. But then you've got this Gibson um, custom shop, which again, look. Ugh. Okay. I am. Um, I mean, does that not just excite you? I mean, I'd stick some EMGs in that for sure. But I, I mean, the it, itself, the finish is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. But then there's this bad boy. I mean, look at that. That just looks awesome. Ah! God, I really can't decide. I want to have them all. If I could, I would. But I can only choose one for the purpose of this video. Uh, see, if I was thinking more like a guitar that would maybe best suit me, I personally would go for the Gibson Custom Shop this one because I think that would really suit me oh shit but then if I was going for something a little different something a little with with some like just something different oh my goodness do you see what I mean by this isn't easy you may think yes I'll choose one guitar and an amp but easy but it's not. There's so many, and you only can you can only choose one. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. I've I've decided. I have decided. Okay, I'm going to remove the PRS. That brings it down to these two beautiful Gibsons right here. One of them with the price tag of five thousand four hundred ninety-nine pounds. The other one with the price tag of four thousand six hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Now I'm gonna go for something here. I could, I, I could, okay, I've wanted a guitar like this for a long time. They look amazing. They just look pretty. And and the picture sold me on it. So guys, I'm going to get. This one, custom shop, handpicked, standard, historic, 959 Les Paul reissue in Lemon Burst because I just there's just something about it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to buying a guitar, one thing, if you can't go and try it out, one thing that's always worked for me of every guitar I've bought is if you look at it and it just makes you feel excited, that's the one that you want to go for. Or as my good friend Chris Lamport says, if you see a guitar and it makes you want to rub your willy over it, and then that's the one you go for. But this guitar makes me feel all kinds of shit right now. So I would choose, if I had to choose one guitar to buy right now, any price tag, it would be this bad boy. Look at it. Oh, you, you don't know if to just like... Now some people, they, they, they buy guitars like this, really expensive guitars, and they're always so scared to play them. Which I think's wrong. I mean, yeah, it costs a lot of money. You spend a lot of money on it. 
But why would you spend a lot of money on it for it to just sit in a case and not be seen or even heard? Like, when I buy a guitar, it gets a lot of use. And I think that just, that's amazing. That's the beautiful thing. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, it might get, like, knocked and scratched and scuffed. But it just shows that it's been loved and it's been used. And sometimes abused, but in a good way. And I just think, like, if you're going to spend money on a really expensive guitar, play it. Don't just leave it in the case. Keep it in the case when you're not playing it. But when you're playing it, don't keep it in the case. Well, you wouldn't be able to play it if it was in the case, would you, really? So, guys, this is my basket. Well, is there anything else I need? I'm not sure. We've got the guitar, I've got the amp. I mean, for me, that's me sorted. Well, ah, okay, being a dickhead right now, I would, well... See, part of me would stick some EMGs into that guitar, but I would keep the original pickup safe, so I've got them. But I would like to put some EMGs in it, just to give it a little Riffmaster vibe, you know, a little chugger chugger. So maybe we should check out some pickups. And I think for me, the pickup I would choose would be the headset. Because since playing the snake bites with the headset, those EMGs sound amazing. Like, compared to the standard set of EMGs, the headset for me, like, forget that they're signature pickups. The pickups themselves, for me, just work. They work with my sound, they work with how I play. I think they're a great pickup. But I would not go for the, the black nickel set, the, this one, this one. Okay, guys, shit, the camera kept dying. What the fuck's going on here? Um, okay, pickups to go in that beautiful Gibson. I'm going for the EMG James Hetfield set in brushed black chrome because I think they would look real pretty in that Les Paul. Uh, just look at them. They look nice. And they sound amazing. My experiences with these pickups has been phenomenal. So many great tones. It's not just a metal kind of sound either. You can get some real creamy blues kind of tones from it so it's very versatile which I think is very cool so I'm going to add those to my basket and here we go guys we've got the Gibson custom shop hand-picked standard historic 1959 Les Paul reissue the Black Star Series 1 6L6 head and the EMG James Hetfield set brushed black chrome pickups and the total is 6,212 pounds and 95p well god damn it well, the only thing I could probably afford right now is the 95p. But that would be a... I would love to buy that one day. Definitely I'll be getting the Series 1 soon. And I would love that guitar. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine if you had the money to buy anything you wanted right now? That'd be great. And this is what I would buy. If I had all the money in the world, this is what I would buy. Damn, so there you go, guys. That was, that was really fun. But it was really stressful because, like I've said, there's a lot of guitars out there that we want. Um, and if you just have to choose one, I mean, it's nice. <laughs> it would be nice to have the money to be able to buy them all. I mean, it would be nice to have the money to just buy this selection of gear that I've selected here. I mean, £6,212 is, uh, is a lot of money. But I hope for one day be able to buy this setup. Maybe one day in the future, I will save this. In the future, maybe, we will buy this setup and we will review this entire setup. That could be quite interesting. So, um, yeah, guys, I want you guys to give it a go. Do it yourselves. You've got all the money that you need to buy something. You have to choose one guitar, one amp, and a selection of pedals if you use pedals. Uh, and take a picture of it and post it on the Facebook page. If you're not yet on the Facebook page, please go over, hit that like button. The link's below. Uh, go over there, post your pictures of what your gear is and how much it costs on the Facebook page. That would be awesome to see, guys. Uh, like I said, it was fun. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to do this two different ways. I've done it like this, where it's just all out money. The next one I'm going to do is going to be shopping on a budget. So I'm going to put together a little setup uh, once I've decided a budget. Uh, I'm going to put together a little setup of gear that I would recommend if you're on a budget that would sound good and it would be awesome which I think could be cool and could help a lot of people out because it has come up in the comments before 
Some of you guys let me know you've got a budget of this much, what can you get, you need an amp and a guitar. So I'm going to put something like that together for you which I think could help out a lot of you pretty well and it could be fun as well. Uh, so yeah guys, go, go and try this out yourself uh, and you let me know how stressful you found it because I found it very stressful. I feel traumatised now because it's right here teasing me and just the selection of guitars is, is amazing and through doing this it's given me a great idea for a t-shirt design on the Riffmaster Spreadshirt shop. Okay, hear me out here, right? Actually, no, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to design it and then I will show you. But I think it'll be quite good and it'll be funny. So guys, uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And guys, if you haven't already, head over to my second channel, the Riffmaster Family channel, uh, and please subscribe to that. The link will be here somewhere, it will also be in the description. Please, if you haven't already, go over and subscribe. Over there you can hang out with me and Lady Riffmaster a little more than you already do now and tag along with us through our journey in life and all that cool stuff. So please guys, if you haven't already, go and subscribe. That'd be awesome. So take care guys, uh, and as always, rock out, be awesome, and I will see you very soon. See ya!